I saw the ocean for the first time when I was 12 years old. To me, the ocean would only have fish. That's what I thought. One day, I encountered small creatures which were racing into the water. I couldn't believe my eyes. This was my very first time seeing turtles. I became so curious and so obsessed. I volunteered at Watamu Turtle Watch to learn more and understand what kind of an animal a turtle is. I used to love the rehab because you could see the success when a sick turtle recovers and is sent back to the ocean. That was a really turning moment. I really loved it. There's so many challenges facing turtles, man being the biggest threat. Pollution in the ocean. And if you look at their life cycle, they take long to breed. It's believed only one out of a thousand will survive to maturity. The first time I saw a turtle being poached, it was a big disappointment. And when it comes from a fisherman that you have been working with, and all of a sudden it turns to be a turtle poacher, at that point you feel like you have been betrayed. Turtles were being poached by the community for their meat. They would extract oil from the turtle, which people believe would call, treat some diseases like asthma, and sell their shells to the tourists. As there's less fish in the ocean, the pressure on turtles is high. But these are your sisters and brothers, so you don't look at them as enemies. They are your people. So we work with the community and we try to engage them with alternative income generating activities, trying to ease the pressure from the ocean. With the education and awareness that we have been doing, nowadays people look at turtles as an animal that needs to live. I would wish these projects would be along the whole of the coastline. Their existence in the ocean equals to a healthy marine life. I'm Fikiri Kiponda and I am a turtle. Join me and give your name to change the game for endangered species.